All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the sync panel, and it's it's pretty neat, a pretty neat little panel and how it works and everything. But basically, this thing is designed so that you can consolidate your colors uh, in your project, and it will help you reduce the number of different materials that you plan to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the practical use of this. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring in some Cricut images. And I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down here. I'm going to pick uh, this, this, and I'm going to go ahead and pick this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click Insert Images. And as you can see, uh, it, it piled everything all in one spot. And we have lots and lots of little colors here. Uh, we even have some hidden colors on here. Uh, that's right underneath the leap year. I'm going to go ahead and keep that hidden for now. But if we take a look at the sink, we also have all the colors represented here as well. Now, it just so happens that we don't have uh, two of the same colors alike, but we can always add it to that layer. Now, what is Cricut talking about when it says that this panel is to help you reduce the number of materials and colors? So when you click Go, it tells the machine, or tells you visually, how many different cutting mats you are planning on using. Okay, so this is how Cricut does stuff. It uh, cuts by color, and using the sync panel will allow you to minimize the material that you uh, plan on using. So, for example, we have the winter break. And the winter break, say we plan to cut this out of the same material that the leap year uh, stuff is going to be cut out of. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this winter and go ahead and drag it up to the leap year. So now it is the same color and we have reduced our matte colors by one. And if I click go, we should see that difference. Okay, so you can see we went from four. Now we're down to three, and the winter break has joined the uh, the leap year uh, text. So that's what it can do. Now you can do it individually, just like I can bring it up to here if I wish, uh, or I can bring it back down. But you can also take the whole group as a layer. So you, you'll want to select the color over here and drag it, and you'll notice I have the color band now in my mouse and just drop it to the color. So now when you click go, we have further reduced our material. So that is how you can utilize the sync feature. Uh, it is it is pretty neat. Um, you know, it saves you the time from coming over to the layers panel and trying to match up the colors individually. You know, for example, uh, this right here, I'm, you know, okay, I, I know that it's black, Okay, well, let's go ahead and make this thing black. And you're dragging it over. You're like, okay, I, th I think that's black. Okay, it looks black to me. However, it's a different custom color code, and it's it's going to show up as a different layer. So if I go to sync, you can see that these two blacks are not the same. And if I click go, I'm going to get two separate mats for that black, just because it's not the same hex color code. And if you don't know what a hex color code is, don't worry. But I tell you... Uh, this will save you time as well. If you think it visually looks the same, uh, just go ahead and come over to the sync panel and make it happen by just simply dropping and dragging. And that way you can reduce your workload, reduce the mat load, and everything will cut just nicely the way you planned out for the materials that you want to use.